In this video, I'll be sharing my UI design process as I take six wireframes and create six different design options for a website homepage, all created in Adobe XD. If you want to learn more about how to wireframe in Adobe XD, I'll have a link below to the video where I created these exact wireframes. These videos are part of a series where I take you behind the scenes, start to finish, how I redesign my portfolio website. This is the first wireframe. I'm using a set of mood boards I already created in another video for the inspiration of the design. This mood board had a little bit of a vintage feel to it. I wanted to use a bolder serif typeface like this one for the main headers. The darker gray background that was shown on the wireframe was meant to be a solid colored background. Since this is the first thing you will see when you arrive at the website, I definitely wanted to make a good impression with the colors and design. I couldn't really make up my mind on some of the color combinations I wanted to use, so you'll see me going back and forth. The circle on the top of the wireframe was meant to be a logo. Now, if I end up going with this design, I'll definitely spend more time on this aspect, but for now, I just wanted to use my initials in some kind of handwritten, hand-lettered typeface. One of the features of this design layout is that it's actually a short website in that it only features two sections. The top takes up about 75% and is meant to give a strong introduction into what I do and some of the companies I've worked for. Whereas below the fold, I have a link to two projects. Here's a comparison with the wireframe and design. I like the minimal qualities of this homepage design. One of the things that I would want to continue working on is the thumbnails for the projects. I want to be sure their design looks cohesive together while also explaining what the project will be about so someone will want to click on it and see it. This is the second wireframe and mood board. This is meant to be a super modern and minimal design option. As you can see from the mood board, I'm focusing on classic bold typography, white, black, and gray, maybe even no mention of color. From the wireframe, I wanted to designate a large portion of the top to a big bold statement. In this case, I thought it would be fun to do a play on words. I feel like anyone in the creative field has a hard time giving themselves a title because we do a lot of things. So I wanted to feature titles like designer and photographer crossed out and then something like creative partner to show that I'm not just a designer, but I'm a collaborator, someone you will want to work with. To bring in a sense of scale, I used a medium sized header to add more context to brands I've worked with in the past. After you scroll down, you'll see an about section with a photo and copy about how I could help. This is all meant to be placeholder for now as I'm still navigating what I want my messaging to be, but it gives you a good sense of how the design would unfold. Here's the wireframe and final design. This is actually one of my favorite design options. I'm still not entirely sure if I would keep a profile photo on this page, but for now it's an option. For this design's typography, I wanted to focus on a modern serif typeface with thick and thin contrasts. These typefaces have a very sophisticated and editorial look to them. I was really inspired by this one image in my mood board, so I took a lot of design details from it. I used a cream colored background and a brighter, vibrant color to pop. This design is similar to the last in that the typography plays a big role in the design, but it varies in that I use it in a storytelling element within a paragraph. Another element of this design is including large photos underneath the text. Instead of photos of design projects, I actually wanted to use my own photography, specifically Polaroids. I feel like this will give someone looking at my website a better idea of my design aesthetics. Underneath is a call to action where I mention I'm available for freelance opportunities and collaborations worldwide. If someone wants to work together, they would click on this to contact, reach out, and tell me more about their project. Here's the wireframe and final design. I also love how this one turned out. There's an elegance to it that draws me in. 
This is wireframe and mood board number four. This is meant to be a big, bold, and more dramatic design option. At first, the intention was to have a black background for that top section and a bold color like red, but I ended up not liking how it looked. I really wanted to play with the color palette in this design, but I found it difficult to find a good combination, so you'll see me going back and forth a lot. This is more of a traditional layout for a homepage. A header section, a grid of projects below, and a call to action. Here's the initial wireframe and final design. I ended up only featuring three projects rather than a grid of six. I thought six would be too much and too overpowering. For this design, I wanted to infuse some type of analog feel to it, whether that be a hand-lettered logo or some form of sketching. I wrote out my first name in Procreate on an iPad Pro and played around with using it as the analog element. I tried typing out a subtitle, but I didn't like how it looked, so I went back to Procreate on the iPad Pro and wrote out Creative Designer. I played with both black and white versions. For the project section, I ended up using a two-column grid with the thumbnail image on the left and the type on the right. I played with adding one pop color, like yellow or red, but red seemed too bold and yellow and black are, tend to be a trendy combination, so I kind of wanted to stay away from that. I ended up using a shade of purple. Here's the wireframe and final design. I feel like this option still needs some work, so I'd want to continue exploring the design if this is a direction I decide to go in. The final wireframe and mood board. When I initially created these mood boards, this was one I was actually really excited about. So I was looking forward to exploring the design on the homepage. For the main headers, I wanted to use a bold, thick serif type face in a soft lavender color. Referencing the wireframe, my intention was to have a solid block of color or maybe a photo break up the landing page. I played around with this idea, but I ended up not using it. Instead, I embraced a minimal two column layout. This also turned out to be one of my favorite design options. It's clean, straight to the point, and also offers a lot of information. Here's the wireframe and final design. Here are all six homepage designs. I'd love to hear from you. Leave a comment below and let me know which design is your favorite and why. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. And if you would like to see which version I end up going with for my portfolio site, be sure to subscribe so you'll catch that video.